Welcome, everybody. Don't starve, Hamlet. A death-defining adventure. This is the uh, closed beta, as you can see, of uh, the Don't Starve Hamlet DLC. Very similar to what Shipwrecked was, where it's basically almost a complete makeover. Uh, it does have mod support, but I've not tried any mods to see what work works. I am using a controller because I've been playing uh, so much Don't Starve on the uh, Switch that it just feels natural to me in this game right now. Um, I'll bitch about it from time to time, sure, but... Uh, <laughs> it's my own fault, isn't it? Uh, so this character, this is a new character uh, added to the game. Uh, I don't really know a whole lot about him. The, it's still pretty early on. Uh, I'm sorry, let's go back and <laughs> let's actually read the thing. <laughs> I don't really know a whole lot about him, his, his wants, his needs, and all that stuff. Uh, but you can see, is an explorer, loves his fortune, and is a picky eater. So that's the biggest thing. It's like, I, I've already done a couple of short runs with him, and yes, they were short, they were very short. <laughs> The rain of Giants is there. Oh, no, I don't want that. Sorry. Uh, I, I want to go and activate ham. Here we go. Perfect. Um, he is very picky at what he can eat. I'm sure that some of you guys in the comments, by the time I put this out, you will have already maybe the knowledge of what it is he likes to eat. Uh, he seems to basically lose a little bit of sanity no matter what I eat, but I've mostly been cooking him things, raw things that have just been maybe braised by the fire or something. Um, I've not yet tried anything in a crock pot to see if that's something that he's more into, but he will eat just about anything. It's not like Wigfrid where there's some kind of limitation or something. Um, and again, I don't know if there's uh, any, any new info uh, out. I'll go to check one more time here because I, I, as of last night, this game was very, 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 very new still to a lot of folks. Um, and so I don't want to misrepresent, but yeah, there's nothing on the wiki or anything yet. So I'm guessing everything's going to be located in forums and everything. So, so let's go ahead and get started here. Nice two point landing this, uh, <laughs> and then it just disappears. So they always start you off with a machete and that's pretty much it. Uh, the first thing you're going to notice is, uh, well, it's all new biomes, uh, which is what it was something we'd expect from Clay whenever they put out a, a shipwrecked style uh, DLC. It's funny, you know, because you look at uh, Rise of uh, uh, Reign of Giants and, and it's like, OK, well, that's that's basically don't starve, but with, you know, bigger things <laughs> that come around very frequently and cause lots of havoc. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what you what you what uh, that was the initial DLC, but everything since then was shipwreck. And now this has been basically almost a complete makeover. You can see I'm I'm hacking away at this in order to get grass, uh, which obviously we're used to as somebody who I've not I've not played a whole lot of shipwrecked. Um, but obviously in the vanilla don't starve and in uh, ROG, it's it's basically a whole lot of uh, uh, just running around, just picking it, not using a tool or anything, just picking it. Thank God the durability of a machete is pretty uh, it's pretty, I mean, it's, it's a lot, so it can get a lot of good swings out of this thing. It's not, it's not as uh, brittle as, say, an axe or literally any other tool, actually. Whereas, like, a, a, I think a, um, uh, a regular axe will take, come on, get it, uh, will take, I think, I think a couple percent per swing, I think, on a tree. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. But anyways, um, yeah, it is, uh... It's a, it's a bit of a chore just to collect grass, and you're going to need lots and lots and lots of it because this game has ruins, but unlike anything you have seen uh, in any of the other uh, Don't Starve related contents, it uses a tile-based system that is very reminiscent of uh, Legend of Zelda. Think Link to the Past. Like, once, once we, we're going to go in one uh, through this playthrough here, but, uh, but yeah, think like Link to the Past, right? Like, that's something that is definitely uh, more in line with... Um, the, uh, probably the better, best comparison here. Let me grab this grass. So one of the problems I'm going to have with controller here is that occasionally it's difficult to pick things up. They, they clearly have not necessarily layered this correctly. So you can see tall grass, it drops. It still wants me to select tall grass because tall grass is still the foreground object. And when the grass drops, it should then be pushed to the back. So that way grass just gets picked up. I have to basically move around a little bit. It doesn't take much. Just basically move around a little bit in order to pick it up. This is These are the type of things that they're going to be working on, I'm sure. Um, as they uh, flesh it out a little bit more for uh, uh, for uh, for release, which leads me to believe that these things, these giant grass stalks, don't exist in shipwreck because then this would not be a problem, would it? Because <laughs> they would have ironed this out long ago. Uh, I actually was hoping we'd run into the uh, there's a couple of, like uh, beetles that like to hang out, some bugs like to hang out in here, and they get pretty pretty aggressive when you get a little too close. They like to hide out in the grass, kind of like turkeys do in uh, in uh, in the berry bushes. Kind of the same thing. 
Except these guys are just present, and they will jump out at you uh, if you get a little too close. You can usually hear them when you're walking around. <laughs> um, there it goes. Okay, so there goes the weapon. So I can make a torch. I'm gonna need that, obviously, for the evening. So I don't need that right now. Jesus, Scott, put it down. Bye, I'm gonna clip. Uh, let's see, usually near the, uh, there's a pog. Why well, everybody, I already made a video on pogs, so we don't need to do that right now. <laughs> let's go. It is adorable, but I don't have anything for myself. Here's a starting tool here. It acts as a, um, as a light, uh, as a light source. I could basically take it and then just point at this and he'll do the, come on, mm-hmm. Whoosh! And it costs me nothing to set that thing on fire. Isn't that cool? I can use it as a weapon, but you will absolutely deplete its value, uh, its durability, super quick. It's like 10% per swing. Uh, I, I gave it a shot uh, previously. I think the runes are up top, maybe. No, that's grass and something. There's usually a ruins like pretty close by, or a cave system or whatever, whatever they call it. I want to jump in there because there's a fair amount of resources in there. You got regular sticks like we expect. Uh, we got we put these stones, and we, the stones basically like basically uh, uh, it's a loot box of sorts. It will uh, drop basically a random item, pretty much. Uh, those guys right there will attack if you get too close. They do all that. When you get in here, you have the uh, you have yeah this thing this happens, which is kind of cool. <laughs> the music changes. The exotic flowers are basically regular flowers that you that you'd get anywhere else. Exotic flowers. You make a nice stack of those. There is a sanity drop. You notice sanity is dropping a little bit. Let me walk out. Let's see if I could uh, turn that off. Well, it's, it's the evening now, so I guess it's going to continue to drop. So that was perfectly timed. Uh, this guy here, so he gets um, he's going to get in my face a little bit about being too close. And he does occasionally, huh? Not this time, I guess. Now over here, though, I'm I'm so glad this happened. Over here, there's <laughs> there's poop out here. Awesome. Uh, so. These are basically like farmers or something. Yeah, the, so the guards are protecting the loot, right? And the farmers uh, who are sleeping right now, well, this one is, uh, he he will come out and give me, he'll give you a gold coin. I don't know exactly what that is uh, or what it does, but I did give it to a guard and he didn't necessarily follow me to thank me for it. And then he left and I was like, okay, cool. Well, I don't know exactly what I did there, but <laughs> I'm sure it was a thing. Yeah, I don't even bother with that thing. This thing's moving. Oh, it's got a slug. Well, pick it up. We could eat it, by the way. We're just not gonna do that right now. Uh, right now, we actually need to find flint. Notice that, like, no, no... Oh, this is an interesting tile. I have not seen this yet in my other place. Oh, yes, I have. Oh, look at this. It's a little village. My first time being here. This flooring is, uh, increases speed, so I'll probably pick up a whole lot of this to what I'm gonna build. By the way, I didn't necessarily mention exactly what I had planned here, but uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to take a break from Wigfrid uh, and her adventures just to focus a little bit on uh, on the Hamlet DLC uh, because obviously this is something we're going to transition into as we get going, and it's the, it's the hot thing right now. Oh. And so, this is all new to me, by the way, guys. Uh, and so, yeah, I want, I want to do, a, maybe we'll do like a week of this or however long it takes for me to die a couple times, maybe. Um... To get a good feel for this gameplay, and then we'll go back and we'll we'll continue with Wigfrid. And then if something happens to Wigfrid again, uh, <laughs> then uh, then we will uh, uh, you know transition into this, assuming that this is going to be out by then. Right now, I don't know anything about what uh, what did they have planned. Uh, so this Talbot here, uh, it's a thing. Uh, it's a thing. It's a thing. Okay, hold on. Oh, for one, for a lost totem, and for a lost idol. Oh, boy. Uh, let's see, there's something else up here. Uh, buy trinket one, one, oh. Is he gonna kick me out? It is time. Is he just gonna leave? Maybe he's just gonna wander around? I could fight him, but that would be really dumb right now. Honestly. <laughs> I don't know what to expect to see. Buy one, buy trinket for one oink. Oh! I know what that is. The oink is the coin. That's the coin that I was just talking about, actually. Okay, so I need to go get an oink. <laughs> an oink, man. Oh, oh, what did he say? Did he say that? I, th I thought he said something right there. Okay, missing name. No, oh, because, yeah, because it's missing a name. Sure. Uh, let's wait a second because we'll go out there with a, uh... 
how funny is walk around all night? We'll, we'll walk around out there with, uh, with other stuff. So yeah, we'll focus on this for like a week. Kind of see where we're at with this. And then uh, we'll basically go from there, figure things out after that. It does rain here, so oh, he goes right back to work. Look at that. I just ruined his night. <laughs> so this jerk was here all night. How nice are these guys are doing? Hello. S sellest me thine... Wait, what? Sellest me thine... Oh, she wants me to sell her stuff. What wares have you today? Uh, let's see. Give. You like slugs? Have the hedge cutlings. Oh, yeah, dude, totally. Hedge cuttings? Uh, I can't give anything else to her. Okay, so she seems to be on the same, uh, three, three item give. Make us the deals. Interesting. No, he doesn't want that. How about this? No, really? Wow, that's a crazy looking woman. He doesn't want that. Here we go. No, okay. Everybody's greeting me. Okay, so clearly nobody wants anything that I have. And I'm hungry. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, these characters. Oh god, what is Clay doing? This is so good. Hello, folks. What for is you? So, so yeah, occasionally these guys will give you money, but I don't know how to trigger that. I can't give it. Give you. Can you want a rock? Refined goods. Oh boy, I have zero refined goods. I can't even. Can I make a refined good? No, I can't. Uh, Frederick. Hast thou jewels? Uh, interesting. All these folks have something different that they want. You may leave my mustache alone. Thank you. I was talking to her, but okay. Oh, okay. I guess, yeah. So what does this guy want? Oh, boy. There's so many people. Oh, my gosh. Oh, see? Yeah, just give me a coin. I don't even know what I did. See? Refined goods. So surely somebody. Jewels. Refined Okay, so this guy, these guys want refined jewel. How about these guys? What do these guys want? Uh, I have the berries. Uh, I mean, not really, but I mean, maybe... Okay, he wants berries. He really wants berries. Alright, so I have an oink. Let's go get uh, one of the medallions, or whatever that was. Okay, townhouse. Okay, I'll only go in here, it looks like. Okay, let me see. Um, buy one tree for oink. Okay, and this says, Melty Marbles. <laughs> uh... Well, uh, <laughs> well, I got Melty Marbles. I'm guessing it's something that we'll use once we go somewhere that where Melty Marbles are necessary. Uh, refined goods, though. Let's go over here and see uh, the gentleman who wanted one of the refined goods. Hello, sir. I'm a pi oh, okay. I don't know what I did, but okay. I'm assuming I have to do something eventually that will trigger those those types of reactions. It's no long life. To... Okay, how about you? No, how about you? Now, jewels. No. Edmund, uh, buy us jewels from the. Oh, there's so many people here. I'll buy anything refined. How about this? This is technically. No? No? Okay. Oh, oh it gave me a coin, though. If I just hang out here, I guess I was continuing getting coins. Nobody wants my, my, uh, Melty Marbles. <laughs> How about you? Nope. Okay, alright. Well, I have two more coins. Are these buildings enterable, I wonder? Uh, Curly Tails, Mud Spa. Wow. One oink for a green cap. <gasps> oh, my god. Okay, these are just regular- oh, man. I'm gonna- I'm gonna- I get hungry here, so I might as well go ahead and eat something real quick, huh? Like, speaking of eating... Sandy's going up while I'm in here, though. Look at that. Holy crap. I could just... crank down a whole bunch of food that I normally would, like, hurt. <laughs> it would hurt to eat. Uh, and, uh, just get that- all that stuff back. I'll eat this stuff, too. Um... Horrid. Horrid, he says. Petals. Wow. One for one. Wow. It's a thing. It is indeed. Okay, let's get this sandy up just a little bit more because we're gonna go take off here. Here we go. Alright, everyone's going home. What an interesting... I just... What what an incredibly interesting uh, concept here. 
Look at their shop, their shops laid out. I mean, this is an RPG. This has straight up gone into RPG land. I am taken aback. I am. This is uh, quite impressive. I'm looking now for perhaps another, uh, another building that I could go into. Something like this, for example. Oh my goodness. Five oinks. Okay, I could get five oinks just hanging out here because you folks are super generous. Uh, but, oh god, ten oinks. That's not happening. Was my sanity going up there too? Sure was. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Walking around with a blow dart in my hand. Totally safe. Alright, so general. Wow. I am, uh, yeah, I am, I am impressed. Just incredibly impressed. There's so much, so much new stuff here to explore. Day two. It's about to be night, but I'm in the middle of town, so I'll be totally fine. Just gonna walk around and uncover the rest of this stuff. Maybe gather gather whatever peripheral items there might be. This hedge is uh, needs work right there. I don't have. I'm still really short on flint. Actually, what's funny is the past couple playthroughs I've had uh, just kind of testing the waters here. I was able to get a pretty good amount of um, a pretty good amount of of, of flint. Not of well, a pretty good amount meaning like five. <laughs> Not at all like. What we'd expect in uh, in regular Don't Starve. It's very much been <laughs> lots and lots and lots of just running around looking for one more piece of flint. But I got a lot of them early on, so I figured it might be a little bit more common, but apparently not. Oh, hey, look at that. It's the carrot store. Let's go see what's in there before they close. It's a grocery. Wow. Okay, so we got to figure out a way. Wow, but ice. Two... Pomegranate, cave banana, what? Huh. Okay, so we're gonna have to figure out how to get ourselves some more oinks. Like, a lot more oinks. I'm guessing going down into the ruins, or into the cave system, the dungeons, whatever they're calling them, uh, is probably gonna be the best bet to earn some quick cash. I'm just guessing that's probably gonna be the case. I'm gonna need food soon, though. I've got about another half a day or something before I start stressing out because <laughs> I'm out of food. Uh, it looks like there's probably a couple places maybe relatively nearby go hunt some food. I should go up to the right after I get done exploring all this. I just want to cover all the rest of the uh, yeah interactables like this right here. Swinesbury Cat. Oh, it's locked. That's right because they are closed. You guys want to give me money? Any y'all want to give me some money? Anybody? Anybody? I want to say that I was attacked when I was Wilson, which makes me think that there is some kind of nobility to this character <laughs> that allows me to just freely walk into this area. Um, he is clearly an explorer, so perhaps he has some kind of rep, rep or something. Or maybe when I, when I was Wilson, I perhaps looted something within range of a guard, and that's what triggered him. Which is more than likely that's probably the case, actually. Yeah, it's probably the case. I'm just waiting for daytime here. Then we're gonna hop in the store, see what it is. And then uh, we'll go down left, see what's there. Uh, and then we'll just basically go look for food. And he's gonna eat whatever because we could always restore uh, his sanity in the shop. This is, uh, this is rough. This is the same place. This is not the same place, but it's the same place uh, as the other store. Uh, 10 piece, why 10 piece oink for a lost idol. 10 piece oink. Uh, for, for what? For Lost Totem. So basically, this is where I come to get more oinks. And so these Relic Fragments, to Lost Totem, Lost Idol, what does it sound like? It's what it sounds like, something you'd find in, uh, uh, in an underground cave system, abandoned for years by some ancient tribe. <laughs> some Temple of Doom stuff, right? That is what they want us to do. And so that is what we are going to do. As soon as I find one, how funny, I swear, in the last... My, in my test playthroughs, I just was swimming in those things. They were all over the place. It was ridiculous. Hello. Some thine clippings. Right, I'll give you uh, maybe some of this. And she says no. Perhaps you would like to loosen your purse. No? Okay, fine. Just loose, loose, loose one coin. Oink. Give me an oink. I'm still walking around with this stupid blow dart man. Hello. Any boo-boos? Oh, well, that's that's not exactly... I mean, 
I'll give you some poop. No. Nope. The feathers! Man, okay, they have very specific needs. There are tons of birds around, but getting a feather is kind of a... <laughs> it's kind of a bitch. I don't know. Good. Unpig, he says. Okay, yeah, here's where I get in trouble. Right? Steal some berries. Well met. Alright, sanity. The sanity's going down. Here we go. Exotic flowers. Radish. I do need the food, so... Hello, hippopotamus. Are you, uh... Okay, friendly, I guess. Cool. Can I give you something to get you on my side? You want to be friends? No, the answer is no. Okay. Okay, I've already done all this area. Right, let's go down. Right, an eroding totem. See, here's the thing. There is this treasure hunting thing, but I can't get to the reeds because I can't get into the swamp. The swamp is actually not traversable by regular means. Crumbling, but how convenient. Uh, how convenient, wait, can I light it? Oh, add fuel. Uh-oh. Oh, how interesting. How, how much, uh... Hmm. Okay. Are there a few of these? Oh, we're back into the, uh, okay. Huh. I feel like I'm gonna need to steal some of these berries. Farmhouse. I'm gonna have to steal some of these berries, because, yeah, I need the, uh... Hey, you wanna give me some money? I sell grass! I do, actually! What's up? Hey, there it is! No, okay, come back. Ah, uh, come back tomorrow. Okay. So, okay, that's my grass guy. How cool is that? I basically just have to remember, like, who or where to go to drop whatever items off. Uh, and... Hello, friend, what are you looking for? Mine farm stuffs. Uh... Right, can I give? Oh, fine, job. Right, right. Come a spec on the morrow. Here it goes. Hut, 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 hut. I'm hungry. Sorry, guy. Oh, and there goes a the turkey. I just, I just let loose a turkey. He's probably gonna go back there and start fighting the turkey. <laughs> oh god, it's robbing him. It's robbing him blind. No, 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 turkey. Oh, he did. He'd go after the turkey. Oh, and I. Oh, he doesn't know what to do anymore. <laughs> I just ruined that guy's day. <laughs> He's just like, really, dudes? Can we just stop all this? Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm still low on flint. Oh my god. I can't believe I have, like, no flint. I know where to get flint, by the way. I just haven't seen where to get it. I won't want to tell you guys it, uh, what it is. In, the, in, in case you guys don't know, um, this area has been scarred by something. You can see that there's pot marks all over the place. As if there was some kind of meteor storm. Um, but other than that, I know nothing about it. There's a porg. There's another porg. Oh god, porgs. Okay, here we go. Evening time. I'm also quite hungry. Oh my god, there's no flint. My god. I'm going to well pick up some of this, too. Let's eat this. You'll like it. This one moves. It means it's like, uh, uh, oh, okay. Usually when it moves, there's, uh, like a, sl sl uh, uh, a worm or, um, slug or something under there. But no. I guess that's not always the case. See, I just want, if I can make an axe, <laughs> I'll be quite, ah, here we go. Okay, well, do I have everything I need to last? Not really. I mean, I got some food, but I can't cook it. He's gonna be very upset about eating it. We're gonna go in there, we're gonna tank a sandy even more. Oh, the, God, of course I need his walks right up. I don't have an actual weapon to beat him down with. Oh, you know what, I can make this. That counts as something, technically. Let's do it. Okay, so here's how you do it. Ready? First, you gotta scare him right into a tree. He falls over. And you gotta just finish him off like that. Whoops! Shit. Damn it. Oh, crap. Oh, man, I'm gonna kill my first... Oh, God. This is terrible. Oh, hi. We gotta do it, though. We gotta do it. We gotta do it. You guys saw it. You have to do it. Can I wait? Can I, can I win him over still? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah, okay. Oh, hey, it's regular meat, though. 
That's pretty good. That's a pretty good deal. Regular meat. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. You don't have to say anything, okay? I know. I know. Anyway, so that's a dung beetle. And this is a pump dung pile. We're reaching in, taking a sandy hit for every pick there. By the way, it's awesome. I did get my first flint! What did you make? Oh my god, he's made a hammer. Oh my god. Why did you make a hammer? Jesus. Oh, man. Alright, let's hurry up and chop this tree down. Quickly. Should get a log out of this, maybe two. Start a fire. Go, go, go. Oh my god, what is this cork? Oh, Jesus. Uh, let's see. These trees? No, it's like the same thing. Fruit palm, yeah, it's a palm tree, same thing. Ah, oh, crap. Alright, let me think. I just can't cook this damn food. <laughs> I might as well just eat it raw. Ah, fine. Okay, let's do this. Let's eat all this crap raw. It's gonna really piss us off. But this is get our hunger up. The sandy's going up fast. That is a lot faster than I expected. At night, with just a torch? I guess this is maybe perhaps, maybe perhaps this is just natural element. Right? Standing here with a torch. The little explorer, right? That would make sense. Alright, now listen. I've got a lot of crap on me here. And we need to go down to the... Into these things here. The ruinous entrance. Let's go and drop some stuff. Uh, like, for example, the corks. Which, uh, I'm assuming somebody will want. Uh, melty marbles. I'll take that with me just in case. The bone shards I'll leave. The charcoal I'll leave. And the one stone I'll leave. Uh, and then I'll go in with everything else. Uh, I'm gonna use it as a weapon, so. And then I gotta make another torch. Thankfully I have enough to buy, make a bunch. Oh crap, cool. Let's put it away. Unequip. Great. Uh, so, in my last adventure in here, I did find oh, a bunch of these, uh, rooms like this. Where, you know, you're able to basically go through and pick a whole bunch of uh, materials and whatnot. Oh, come on. No. I guess that one's just out of the reach, out of reach. But usually it's deeper in, which made me feel like, oh my god, this is the refueling station. But here's something I've not yet figured out. Um, there are plenty of places that uh, you can light, but it doesn't give you the option to light them. Uh, you'll see them on the walls as we go to other rooms. Here, let me actually, I gotta do some smashing here. Hold on. These things sometimes have stuff, like, for example, the purple gem. Man, I might have to go back and turn that in. Oh god, a green gem. Okay, yeah, so let's do this on rot. Nice. Can I drink from this pool of water? No. Okay. Let's do this. Let's step outside. And we're gonna drop off some of this stuff real quick. Like these gems, basically. It's just, we just don't have the room to do all that right now. Uh, and then we'll go inside. I don't have the materials to make anything else. I can't make any other tools or weapons or anything. So we have to hope that we get something in here. Uh, let's get this thing ready to go. Okay, see? That's what I'm talking about. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Watch out. God. Whoa, why wow, you got a quick attack in there? Crap. Jeez. Oh man, took way too much damage there. Oh, that's really unfortunate. But look at my Sandy just skyrocketing. This is this guy's natural element. Hanging out in here. Indiana Jones. Oh, a feather. Yep, somebody did say they wanted a feather. See, like I said, these rooms are all over the place where you basically just go through and just loot all of this grass, sticks, etc. Yeah. Okay, now we can bust this out. We have to find an exit. There's another thing there. Uh, oh. Quite interesting. We'll get this last piece here. Put this on, we'll leave. We'll see what's over here. There's another door. And some sticks. Okay, let's make another. Because we don't know what's over here. We hear the you hear the pitter-patter little feet. Tempting idol, it says. Oh geez, he's gonna attack. 
Okay, let's do this. Oh boy! That was quite the range attack. Holy crap, I'm gonna die. We're leaving! <laughs> Whoa! That was, um... I'm hurting. I am really hurting. <laughs> I took a ton of damage in here. Uh, God, is there anything I could, like, I can't make anything. A trap, yay. I can make a hat. <laughs> I mean, might as well just to have something on my head, I guess. Um, oh, the music plays. <laughs> wow. Let's, uh... Well, let's go outside. Let's go back to the... First off, let's rearrange this here. I can't even make... I don't even get gold, nothing. Man, I gotta really figure out what I'm doing with my life here. Let's see, it was bone shards and corks. Okay, so let me see. What do I definitely not... Need? Okay, so the, the melty marbles, I don't know what I'd probably do with it. I'm gonna put it right here. Uh, and I'm gonna take with me the corks. Uh, another charcoal. Bone shards can stay. Wasn't there more corks in this? Rocks. Yeah, it's just one rock. Rocks, plural. Nice try game. Let's go ahead and head now back to the... Boy. We went far, didn't we? We'll head back there. We'll turn in a couple things. And we'll see what I get for it. Obviously, it's going to be a bunch of oinks. So, yeah, we'll take the oinks. Oh, got a dung beetle. Ay, crap. Uh, no, not right now. Oh, the hammer. I should drop the second hammer. I did totally miss that. Let's do this real quick. That. Oh man, my, my, my health is just gone. If I like trip on anything, I am done. What the hell is that thing? Oh my God, it's coming after me. It's coming after me. It's coming after me. Uh, and it has quite the Ooh. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. One one hit from this. I'm done. Come on, guard. What are you doing? Oh, I'm trying to get it hooked. Come on, stay over here. Get hooked. Get hooked. Get hooked. Get hooked. There you go. Oh, nice. Yes. Yes. Oh, man. Please help me drop some food. Drop some food. Drop some food. <laughs> this is great. Just let the guard take care of it. Get him. Get him. Oh, it just oh, it's ash. Oh, gee. Ah. Uh, maybe there's um. Oh, look at all of this. That's not being watched very closely. Right, and I'm out. Sorry, guy. What I was gonna say is I don't have anything uh, that I can used to, uh, to cook these freaking berries, man. Hmm. This guy won't, like, take... You won't take after him, right? Okay, good. This is like the aggro spreads, so it's good. Okay, so yeah, we'll get ourselves back into town here. Oh, the town, it's gonna freaking close! Oh, man. But at least we'll be in town. I could just... Uh, is there anything I can jump into real quick? Real quick. Uh, there's a thing there, the flower joint, uh, the food joint. It's probably what I need. No, I need to talk to these people. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna call it here, <laughs> and uh, we'll hop in and basically continue. We'll hop in tomorrow morning, day five morning. We're we're perfectly fine except for the fact that we don't have any. Uh, let me see. Hold on a second. Oh, that's the oink. Yeah, I don't have any of that crap. So I'll step outside. Yeah, so we will uh, we'll revisit all this tomorrow morning. Uh, well, day day five in game, and go from there. I mean, just like initial thoughts on, on what I've played so far. It is it is quite fascinating because you know you're so used to like you feel like you're playing Don't Starve, but you're not playing Don't Starve, which is with uh, with shipwrecked. It kind of gave you the same feeling. It's just like wow, this is a whole other world. There's all these new things and all this. Uh, and here it's like it's giving you another la a layer where now it's like okay now you have all of these like shops and everything 
uh, which you had stuff like this via mods and like maybe on a smaller in, in a smaller scale, uh, being able to like swap items for such with like the king and other and and uh, I think whatever the uh, the sea the sea king or whatever that there is in uh, uh, in shipwrecked. But here it's like wow they actually spread it out and made it instead of just take any random idol or generic doll or cork or whatever and throw it at the pig king get gold. Now it's like okay now I get a currency and I take that currency and I convert it into uh, uh, into an item that I actually need. And Shipwrecked had doubloons, but I don't remember if you could do anything specific with those doubloons other than convert them into gold, uh, into gold pieces. So, yeah, it is, uh, I'm, I am super intrigued, and I'm looking forward to next week coming in here and just basically banging out, like, a week's worth of play on this and kind of getting used to it. And then, you know, we'll roll back into... Uh, into Wigfrid and go from there because I have nothing pre-recorded after the last thing that happened on the last episode. For those of you guys watching, I have nothing recorded after that. Uh, so it'll be fun. It'll give me give me a good opportunity to take a break from that because man, did that piss me off. Uh, but that's it. So thank you so much for watching uh, these Hamlets, <laughs> these Hamlet adventures. My name is Mike B. And hopefully by the next time, the next episode you guys see, we'll have a bit more information on the game. Because again, as my as a time I, I'm recording this, it is very, 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 very new. Nobody even knew what pogs were. <laughs> and I don't mean the 90s pogs. I had a ton of those. I really wish they'd come back because those are awesome. Anyways, that's it. My name is Mike B. This is Don't Starve Adventures-ish. I'll see you.